the Houston Texans and the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals are eight-point favorites. How about these Houston Texans, folks? Nobody thought that this team was going to be 4-4 four and four at this point in the season. But credit to C.J. Stroud. Credit to that entire Texan team. Stroud, especially yesterday, 470 yards, a rookie record, five touchdown passes, including an excellent, excellent final-minute drive to beat Tampa Bay. You know, we thought at the beginning of the year that Houston and, Tampa and Arizona were going to be the worst teams in the league. Arizona has been just as bad as we thought they would be, but Houston has been far better. Credit to that team and credit to the entire organization for the way they've been able to play and be so much more competitive than we thought. But problem with Houston, they are running into a Cincinnati Bengals freight train right now. They're heading into Cincinnati and they are taking on a flying Bengals team, making up for all of the, the, the terrible September they've had. And they've been rolling here in October and now November. Joe Burrow, welcome back to the MVP conversation here. He's, I think he's back in the top five. I don't think he's ahead of Mahomes or Hurts, but he's been stellar. Two great performances in a row. Yesterday, 31 for 44, 348 yards, two touchdowns. That is four straight wins here for the Cincinnati Bengals. Their offense looks so much better, so much more crisp. The tight ends for Cincinnati has been a criticism. Not yesterday. 10 catches for 101 yards and two touchdowns from Smith, Sample, and Hudson combined. So credit to them on that. And I just think while... I would love it if this game turned out to be a high-scoring game just like Houston and Tampa Bay was yesterday. At the end of the day, this think Cincinnati's offense is just on another level than Houston, and I think that will carry them into a win here at home. Give me the Bengals minus eight to slow down the Houston Texans.